Welcome to the Science Whisperer channel where we share microlearning videos and science concepts. In today's video, we are going to discuss a key signaling molecule in our body called neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are chemical messengers that allow for communication between brain cells and help regulate many bodily functions, including mood, appetite, and movement. There are many different types of neurotransmitters used by the human brain, including acetylcholine, dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. Your thought processes are the results of some pretty complex chemistry, and these compounds are some of the chemical entities involved in it. However, there are in fact over 100 known agents that can act as neurotransmitters. There are two main classes of neurotransmitter, excitatory and inhibitory. Excitatory neurotransmitters cause neurons to fire action potentials, essentially an electrical signal, whilst inhibitory neurotransmitters prevent action potentials being fired. Action potentials play an important role in cell-to-cell -cell communication. For example, in muscle cells, the firing of an action potential will eventually lead to contraction. In general, communication between neurons in the brain is accomplished by the movement of neurotransmitting chemicals across the gap, synapse, between them. They are released from the terminal of one neuron and accepted by the receptor on the next neuron. We will now broadly discuss the common neurotransmitters and their role. Acetylcholine is involved in motor control and memory formation, while dopamine plays a crucial role in motivation and reward processing. Serotonin helps regulate mood, appetite, and sleep, while norepinephrine is involved in the body's fight-or-flight response. Other important neurotransmitters include gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA, which helps regulate anxiety and sleep, and glutamate, which is involved in learning and memory. Imbalances in neurotransmitter levels can lead to a wide range of neurological and psychiatric disorders, including depression, anxiety, and Parkinson's disease. Certain medications, such as antidepressants and antipsychotics, work by affecting neurotransmitter levels in the brain. Overall, the complex interplay between different neurotransmitters is critical for maintaining proper brain function and overall health. Thanks for viewing this microlearning video and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting updates.